Okay. So solving weighted mean and establishing an intervals using weights. Okay, so first, what is the formula if we are going to solve for the weighted mean? Okay, so the formula is W or the is equals to sigma if W over N. Sigma means addition. Okay, so you are going to add up everything or the, the sum of the product of your frequency and the W. So in here, W, the capital W is the weighted mean. The small f is the frequency, the small w is the weight, and the end is the total number of cases. Okay, so when are we going to use weighted mean? I have here an example. Okay, supposedly I do have two indicators here. So number one, never let the temptation get over the students. We have the second indicator, students should make their own schedule when to use Facebook. So with this indicator, so assuming that there are 40 respondents, and from the first indicator, there are 25 who strongly agree. And there are eight also who agree, this indicator here, there are seven who disagree, and for strongly disagree, we have 10. For our second indicator, we have 15 who strongly agree that the student should not make their own schedule when to use Facebook. And there are 18 who agree, there are 4 who disagree, and there are 3 who strongly disagree. Okay, so as I said, there are 40 respondents because if we are going to add everything here, the total is 40 for, let's say, the first indicator and as well as for the second indicator. So now, so we will use the formula. Okay, so the summation of FW, so we are going to add the product of our frequency and the weight. So take note, the weights here, for strongly agree, this is 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so these are what we call the weights. While the 25, 8, 7, and 10, these are our frequency. So we are going to add the product. So we have 4 times 25, 3 times 8, 2 times 7, and 1 times 10. Okay, so now, so what is 4 times 25? That is 100. For 3 times 8, that is 24. For the 2, 7 is 14. And the 1 times 10 is 10. Wherein the sum of the numerator is 148. So if we divide it by 40, the result will be 3.7 or 3.70. Okay, for our second indicator, solving for the weighted mean, it will give us 4 times 15 plus 3 times 18 plus 2 times 4 plus the 1 times 3. Okay, so that is for our numerator with the total respondent, which is 40. So next is multiply. So we multiply, so we have 60. 4, 3, 18 is 54, 2, 4 is 8, and 1, 3 is 3. So the sum for the numerator is equal to 125 over the total number of respondents, that is 40. And it will give us 3.13. Now the question is, what would be our remark? Okay, for number 1, that is 3.7. So the answer could either be strongly agree, agree, disagree, or strongly disagree. But in this case, we need to establish first an interval. Okay, so how to establish an interval? Okay, so first is make 
an interval. So formula in getting for the interval that is weight minus 1 over the weight. So since there are 4 here, the weights you are using here, we're using here 4, so 4 minus 1. So 4 minus 1 over 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3 over 4, and 3 fourth is actually 3.75. So since the highest weight here is 4, so we will start with 4. Then subtract 4 by 0 0.75, then we'll come up with 3.25. Again, subtract it by 0 0.75, it will give us 2.25. 50. Then subtract by 0.75, then it will give us 1.75. Now, so what would be the interval here? So take note, before the 4 is 3.25. So what, the, what comes after 3.25? That is 3.26. Then in here, what comes after 2.50 is 2.51. And what comes after 1.75 is 1.76. Then, for the weight, we started at 1. So this will be our 1. Okay. So now, so for this interval 3.26 to 4, that would be our strongly agree. For 2.26, 51 to 3.25 that would be agree while 1.76 to 2.50 this is disagree and for 1 to 1.75 is strongly disagree now so the 3.70 where does it belong so with the given interval 3.70 is between 3.26 to 4 so 3.26 to 4. So that means number 1 is strongly okay, strongly agree. So the remarks there will be strongly agree. What about 3.13? 3.13 belongs to the interval from 2.51 to 3.25. So that means in here our remark for the 3.13 is agree. Okay, so I guess that is all for now. And thank you. God bless.